this video, we're taking a look at the SVA 545 after the buff. This gun's insane now. Use it immediately. It is better than the MCW, and that's saying a lot. So with all that being said, feel free, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications. Let's go ahead and break down the class setup. All right, let's take a look at the new buffed SVA 545 class. Once you equip this class setup, you're gonna notice immediately how much more effective this weapon is at longer ranges. It's honestly easier to use than the MCW now. For the first attachment, we are gonna be rocking the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor to bump up that damage range, both velocity, recoil control, but most importantly, take us off the radar, allowing us to run and gun and drop those high streaks and some MGB nukes. Now we are gonna rock a barrel and the STV precision barrel is gonna be phenomenal, drastically improving that recoil control, gun kick control, both velocity and range, which is huge. We're gonna double up on the buff as well as aim idle sway controllability. This is gonna be a great attachment allowing us to use this gun at long ranges and outgun MCW players. I can't believe I'm saying that. Now we are going to run an underbarrel with this build and we're going to rock the FTAC MSP 98 hand stop. If you don't have this unlocked, unlock it immediately. It is a fantastic attachment which does a lot of beautiful things on the ARs as well as SMGs. Those being increasing that movement speed, gun kick control, recoil control, as well as aim walking speed, allowing us to be very effective at those close, medium range and long range gunfights. This is going to be a good attachment. Now, because this weapon is now better at longer ranges, I think it's safe to say that running the Mark the Reflector is a good option on the SVA 545. Again, allowing us to use this gun very easily across the map. We can go full auto without an issue, and we're gonna be melting people. And then finally, we are gonna rock a stock with this setup. The Marquee R11 and the Skelly Folding Stock are both good options, but you guys are gonna enjoy the main V6 stock even more, which is gonna be bumping up that recoil control and gun kick control significantly once you jump in the firing range you're going to see here that this setup after the buff literally is going to be a melt machine the recoil control is almost non-existent it's going to be going up very very slightly and if you actually kind of pop fire it you're going to be able to get an even faster ttk this is why the sva 545 is banned in competitive play because it's ridiculous if you are using it properly now for the setup we are going to be rocking the core 45 do not forget to rock the conversion kit transforming this into a submachine gun we have on the 40 round drum we're running the sl skeletal vertical grip we have the colossus suppressor xs version and we are going to be utilizing the xrk dynamic prison stock to go ahead and bump up more recoil control now we are going to run munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers Bone stuff and headset, which allows us to hear footsteps and gunfire a lot easier, and goes to keep us off the radar. And the commsess is a godsend, pretty much giving us a 24-7 UAV, letting us know where people are at. Every time we run over to their body, you're gonna get that ping, which is gonna be allowing us to get in their spawn and build up some quick and easy streaks. The SVA is one of the top meta ARs right now. It's one of the best guns in Warzone as well. So definitely give this a try. If you guys tear it up, let me know down in the comment section. And as always, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. Let's get in the gameplay. All right, let's get busy with the SVA 545. This weapon received a buff. And we about to get down. Put over here. Oh no. You got a riot shielder, combat knifer. We have taken the lead. Not good. Get a flank going, y'all. Go, oh, baby. Wait. Looks like the spawns. <gasps> Enemies inside the perimeter. We got a cat AMR. I still have yet to make a sniper video with this, man. I just covered the XRK Stalker too. Had a blast. I've got to get down with that cat AMR. Target area updated. Move to the hard point.
Put it over here. You got a VTOL. They got a full team, but I'm not sure where they are. He popped this, uh, okay. I have an idea now. Imagine if I turned that corner and just got sniped because there's a kid sitting in a corner. That was actually a really sketchy and dumb play. I should have done that. Rotate over here. Sit over here. Wonder where these guys are at, man, because Not really getting good rotations. Yo, there's a kid all the way in the back over here. Holy cow. Y'all see this shit? Yo. Yo, another one all the way in the back. Friendly UAV online. The range buff on the SVA is noticeable. Very, very, very noticeable. That kid's in that corner. I'll be reload. Come on, baby. Advanced. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. You're halfway to the complete. EMP ready for deployment. Got an EMP. Target area updated. I'm actually going to drop it right now. I got literally lucky as hell right there. Get a flank. There's like three guys over here. Have fun with that. It's literally a reunion in there. Their entire team is in that room. <laughs> I saw like four people. I was like, oh yeah, I'm not going to kill them.
Round 24. He sees me. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. Mission time is half over. Maintain the lead. Oh shit! I see. I heard the. All right, let's get busy with. Cannot believe I got knife. A two down. Oh. Got an assisted suicide. I don't know how I didn't get blown up by that though. Hold on y'all. Boy is missing some easy shots that I should be hitting. And they, I just realized they move the hard point hill on this map, the first hill. It's not normally where it is after the update. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like this new hard point hill. Dude. Can I just kill him? Dude. I don't like these new hardpoint locations. This is this is the first time I'm playing hardpoint on this map since they changed it. I don't think I like the new rotations. We call this VTOL jet, and this is kind of getting insane real quick. Thank you, teammate. Oh my god. Yeah, these spawns are shocked. Yeah, these spawns are I don't like I don't like the new hills at all. Maybe because I'm not used to it. Ammo down. Enemies inside the perimeter. It's always comedy hour when this EMP goes up, but still. Somebody definitely has a thermal sight. Area. 
Let's get something called in. We got it. Head over here. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Enemies inside the perimeter. Hard point reboot. If we can get like a fifty gun streak. Forty-one. Bro, he slid and got that perfect. Oh, I'm dead. There's a kid behind me. I heard him. I heard him running around behind me. I didn't think I was gonna get flanked like that though. I really didn't. I'm dead. Yep. I might have to call this in. I don't think there's going to be any time to get something else going. I mean, I don't like the way these hardpoint hills have changed on this map. I'm honestly not a fan of it. I think the old rotations were perfectly fine. This is kind of like... I feel like the spawns are worse now on this. That's probably why they did it. So it's a little bit more unpredictable. Back over here. That's a hundred percent why they did it. So it's more unpredictable. Enemies inside the about hit markers. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. This fast B setup's actually not bad. It looks stupid, but <laughs> Bro, 
Bro, this bass B setup is it. I mean, that's all you, brother. An advanced. Dude, that whatever Bass B setup that was, that was the real deal. That was, actually was a legit class. It looks stupid as hell, but that Bass B setup was actually legit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to jack that. Figure out what that was. Lucky had like a short barrel on it, but I was going off. 